right? We give our praises to Yahawa, Baasham Yahushai, we have double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone at will well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect, right? So again, there is Makaza, there is Rai, from the Trinidad camp, right? We want to go on identification, right? Now, it's just based off of like one of the attitudes that you're supposed to have when doing videos, when doing the works. Basically, just being ministers of the Lord in general. One thing you're supposed to have is a zealous spirit, a hot spirit, especially when you're reading. You, know, you see some men when they're reading, it's like, you know, they might be reading, they say Jeremiah 43 and 1, and it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end to speak, and you know, somebody else say, you know, read a little louder, read with a little bit more spirit. Nobody's not supposed to tell you that. You're supposed to do that on your own. When you're preaching, when you're reading, do it with some conviction, like you're sure there's the truth. And like, you know, because the scripture said, do it as please in the most high. So you have to do it to please the most high. Don't do it like, you know, like you just came from a long journey and you're dying of thirst and hunger. All right? If you're hungry, eat before you come and do the works. Drink before you come and do the works. But when you're doing the Lord's work, you do it with some, with some conviction that you could... You could captivate the reader and the listeners. Alright? Don't be like the guy in the blasted Byzine advertisement with dry red eyes. You don't want to be like that. Don't be like Esau. Be like Jake. Have flavor when you're preaching this word. Read with some life. Like some, the scriptures said that you're as, you're as lively stones. If you're a lively stone, then shine. Read with some conviction. Alright? Come on, Isaiah 58 and 1. Right. Is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry out loud. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yeah, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Read loud. We, we men, we have balls. Read loud. Alright? Nobody not supposed to say read loud so the people can hear you. You're supposed to do that on your own. Read loud. Don't read like you don't really want to be here, but you're just doing it because you're doing it. Read like you want to be here. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. And, and the house of Jacob, their sins. Yes, yeah, so you have to read with some passion. Alright? Give me Isaiah 13. 13. 13 and 1. 13 and 2. Isaiah 13 verse 2. Right. Isaiah, verse, Isaiah 13 verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Yeah, which is what? Beginning with the name Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This word. Alright? The sign that we have all the 12 tribes. That is the banner. Alright, declare the doctrine, declare the gospel. Alright, go ahead. Exhort thy voice unto them. Seek the hand, shake yeah. the hand. Exhort the voice. Say that raise up your voice. You understand? And shake the hand. When you're shaking your hand, you're like, um, we call this, this Stephan. When Stephan was beckoning the hand and exalting the voice, that is why they stoned him. Because he was, he was speaking, he was speaking with conviction. With life. That is the reason why they stole him to death. They put their hands on their ears and, and, and stole him to death because of that conviction. But if, if Stephen was just basically just read like he was in a bedtime story, nobody wouldn't take him on. But because of that, they were cut to the spirit, cut to the heart. Because of the conviction that he was reading in. The spirit he was reading in. Alright? And that is the same spirit that we had to be in. We had to be in that same spirit. Alright? That same mind, read it with that same power. Alright? And shake the hand, beck with the hand. When you're beckoning with the hand, it's like you're getting into it. You gotta get into this. Read, do the, do the works with some passion. Alright? Don't just read like you, you know, like you don't really want to be there, or like you're just reading a bedtime story. But you know, or you're reading inwardly to yourself. Now nah, you're reading so that you can captivate the, the, the listeners. The scripture said we are piped on to you. When you're piping onto somebody, you, you, you're piping with life. You know? You're dancing tight. Be like that when you're doing your works. Alright? Give me 1 Thessalonians 1 and 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5. For our gospel come not unto you in word only but also in power yeah so when we bring this word we didn't bring it on word only we bring it with power we bring
happen is with force. You understand? We brought force to it. We spoke with authority. With a loud voice pushing this word. That is what we mean by to push. Push it with force, with vigor, with manliness, with boldness. That is what we had to push this word, with power. So the Lord didn't just give us the ability to preach the word only, but he gave us with power, with conviction. Passion. Be passionate for this. That is how we had to be when preaching this word. Passionate. Alright, go ahead. And in the Holy, in the Holy Spirit, and in much insurance, as ye know, and in much assurance, you sure? Because when the word for conviction means to be assured, like you're sure there's the truth, with much assurance. So when it's sure days, it's like when you're in school, right? I know you're, you're doing maths, and it's like you're doing a sum, and it's like you ain't sure, you're, you're moving slow, or like you're reading, but you ain't sure the word is say you're stumbling, you ain't, you ain't certain about where you're reading. Now, nah, read like you're certain, like you're sure there's the truth. So you're positive. Luke 21 and 15. You give your mouth that your adversary cannot gain say. Read like that. That you show sure nobody can confirm this word. That is how we had to read. With passion. Show them that this is the word. This is the truth. That is how we had to be when you're preaching this word. Not half dead, but lively. Alright, go ahead. In much insurance, as ye know what manner of men we are going among, we are among. You are your for, among you for your sake. Yeah, for your sake, you understand? That's how we that's how we supposed to be. Alright? That's how we're supposed to be. With preaching this word full assurance. Give me chapter 2. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse um Second Thessalonians chapter 2 or first. No, first Thessalonians, like, yeah. 2 verse 13. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 it says, For this cause also think we, Yahweh, without, without uh, ceasing. ceasing, because because when we receive the word, Yeah, because when you receive the word, go ahead, of, of Yahweh, which ye heard of, of us, ye receive it not as the word of men, but as it is in the truth. Yeah, but as in as the, the truth. truth. You understand now the word of men just like men just read and tell, but you receive it as it was in truth. Mean what you receive it with the Holy Spirit, with power, with force, with strength. Go ahead. The word of Yahweh, which if, um, if effectually worketh as in you that believe it. Can you understand? That is how you are the you give the the, 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 the the people to listen because why? You preach with power and they believe the soul passion that was in you. So they saw that you really into this. So that is what really captivated the listeners. When they saw a group of people coming against a few men of the Lord and they standing there bold like Kalei and reading this word to the top of their voice and confounding the crowd. That is captivate people. And that is how we had to be like lively stones. Alright? That is it? Alright? Give me a... Um, Give me Matthew 7. This is Matthew 7. Verse 28. Verse 28. And it come to pass, when Yahawashai had ended these, these sayings, the people were astonished as his doctrine for the head, for the tongue. For he taught them as, as one having authority and not as the scribes. Yeah. He taught them as the scribes. Like when you go to... A Roman Catholic church, you know, you will fall asleep in his service. Alright? Yahweh Shai didn't teach like that. Yahweh Shai taught as one having authority. Alright? Um, I'm just looking for a word, you just bear my second. Is, um, just bear me one second. Um, in the back here but when I look up authority right it means what with strength you understand it means with strength you understand so you have to preach it with strength 
And they're preaching this way, they're preaching with strength, with force. All right? You can't preach this word like, like you know, like you're in show it is. You have to preach this word pleasing the most high. Preach this word like you're, you're sure there is the truth. All right? It comes from the Greek excusia, which means authority, jurisdiction, liberty, power. All right? A privilege. Because a privilege to preach this word. So the preacher, like, yeah, like, you, you know, sometimes, like, you know, somebody rescue you from trouble and like you're just looking for the right moment just to help them see so you're doing it with with passion and that is how we work with the lord save us from the destruction to come according to first Thessalonians 1 and 10. you understand so we had to be in that same mind we had to be in that same mind where we preaching like we we thanking the most side so we had to do it we had to go all out for this we had to do it like live we stores preaching with passion all right Right, it means what to, to, to preach with power. All right, so you have to do this thing lively. Don't do this thing half dead. Don't don't preach this word. Don't be reading like, you know, like, you, you, like we just Jehovah Witness some of one of these other doctrine. Preach with life. When they're reading the scriptures, when they read like, you know, like the, the speaker speaking. When it's time for the reader to read, read with some life. Read with some passion. All right. Give me last scripture, give me Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. All right, Galatians. Um, he's not going to come back yet. All right. That exception. Colossians 3, verse 23. Colossians 3 and 23. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Go ahead. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as, as, as to the Lord and unto, unto men. Yeah. He said, whatever you do, do it heartily. Let me look up the word heartily. All right? You look up that word heartily and see what it means. All right. Heart me. Heart me. It says out of the soul. All right. Out of the soul. So the preach this thing like, like, you have, like you have a spirit in you. You understand? Just like when Jake danced. You can notice how Jake dancing different from these other nations because you're doing it with soul. You see more liveliness when Jake dancing. You understand? It says what? Heart, life, mind, soul. You understand? So you gotta do this, you gotta preach this word with some life, with some soul, with some spirit. Don't read half. You read like you have a spirit in you. Don't be like a zombie who is moving half dead. Read this word with passion. When you're reading this scriptures, bring the scriptures to life. All right, read the next verse. Knowing that the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of, of the inheritance of ye shall serve, serve the Lord, yeah, Lord Mashiach. Yeah, you understand? So knowing that you will receive a reward, so do this like you're like you trying to gain something. Don't do it like, nah, well, I ain't really benefiting nothing, you know, so I just, I just doing it. You know, I ain't really getting paid much, so let me do over overwork myself I, again paid minimum wage so it didn't make sense i do two days work in one day now don't, don't have a mentality when it come to this work we are profitable servants but at the end of the day days we was made to do all right this we was made to do so this is what we had to do all right um that is a good job you understand he said, what? We have done that which is, um, let me read this real quick. Just wait my second. This is, um, just 
Wait one second. This is Luke 17, verse 10. It says, So likewise, when ye shall have done all the things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. It was our duty to do this word, to preach with conviction, to preach with power, preach with life. All right? So you can't say, well, you know, I really getting paid for this. So I really gonna exert all my energy and take. Nah, don't do that. All right? When you're, when you're reading this, these scriptures, read with life. When you're doing videos, when you're out there preaching, read with life. Because this is what we was made to do. We were made to do this. All right? So you're supposed to think within yourself if the most I please with your actions going out there and reading like you don't have any life in there. Yeah, go out there and re read as though you're pleasing the most side, which you are pleasing, pleasing the most side. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, give double honors to the apostles of great mercy, not rule well, salutations to the men of the hope and saints, say elect, try not come, say shalom.